Day 13, we got one that takes me way back. We got the last shift. Here we go. Last Shift was released in 2014, and it tells a story of a rookie cop's first shift alone in the last night of a closing police station, as it turns into a living nightmare. Also, I'm just now realizing that I have like half of the movies on my list. Not actually half, I'm being dramatic. Were released in 2014, so good year for horror. This movie, I scrolled past countless times while I was on Netflix. And back when my wife and I were long distance, I lived back in Maryland and she lived in Houston. We both live in Houston now. We decided to watch this together over FaceTime just one night. I did not fucking expect to like this movie as much as I did. You get a sense of the atmosphere and the tone for this movie pretty much out of the gate. It is very ominous and isolating. You also get a claustrophobic feeling from this police station. I know that doesn't really make much sense, but it's a smaller station. And the way the camera works and moves through the station makes it feel a lot more secluded and narrowed. The tension is built in a really smart way with the story centered around one primary character. She's the only one affected by what's going on at this police station. So each incident she investigates decides to suck you deeper pause into the story. The practical makeup work in this movie is super, super well done. And for a film like this and what it's focused on would have this shit fall flat right away. You don't really see many people throughout the film and you also don't really see many people die in the moment in this film. Uh, all of the ghosts and everything have already been previously killed or murdered. So the effects are already there. So if they don't hit, then nothing else works. There's a lot riding on that. The pacing is set just right. And I appreciate the storytelling element too. The scenes don't have to really scale up and outdo what came before it because of how everything else is handled. The subtle imagery or the creepy noises carry a lot more weight than they normally would. One thing I wasn't really completely on board with was the the Manson-like approach that this film tried to adapt. A bunch of dumb blind people follow a psychopath to carry out evil deeds for him. It's just something that's been overdone. The elements that surround that storyline still allow for a fresh viewing and a fresh experience. So although you might feel the same way as me, it does not take away from the overall quality of the film. This is streaming right now on Amazon Prime, on Tubi, on Vudu, and on Sling TV, all for free. So go check it out. Have yourself a nice little horror night. And uh, after you're done that, check out my YouTube and I will catch y'all for day 14. Peace.